Hi, everybody. I'm your host for Coach's Corner, Joe Calderon. Joining us now is the head coach of the U Albany softball team, Chris Canada. Chris, how are you these days? I'm good. I'd say a little better than good right now. Um, in your first nine games, three and six start. Since that time, your Great Danes, 16 and two. What's going on? And it's got to be good. Um, well, we're playing obviously a lot better than we started out. You know, part of that is like, you know, the beginning of the season and, and playing against teams that have been outside. So that certainly affects yeah, a little the bit outcome. of an advantage. Yes, yeah. it does. <laughs> And, you know, us finally getting on a field helps. So, you know, that's that's contributed to it. And we've been getting some good pitching lately. So they've been keeping us in the games and then timely hitting. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad you, you said some good pitching of late because Celeste Vertolivo, just a freshman, uh, is the reigning, you know, rookie and pitcher of the week. Last week, you guys go 4-0. She's 2-0 and pitched a perfect game from UMass Lowell. So I had a bone to pick with you, because I remember the first show we ever did, I said, hey, what do you know about this class coming in? And you got a great poker face. You got some really good <laughs> freshmen on this team, and she's not just contributing, but is an impact player for you. How, how, how good can she be? I mean, she's just a freshman. Uh, well, we're hoping that she turns into a very good pitcher for us. You know, she's certainly doing well for us. Um, all of the freshmen have been doing well for us, so I can't complain about that. We've been getting good pitching from Devin, right. um, and certainly the two of them together have been doing well for us, um, keeping us in games. Uh, and like I said, we, we have a ways to go, sure. but we're moving in the right direction. With, with you know, Vertolivo and Durando, and like you said, both being so young, it's their first year and all that, I mean, I don't want to put the pressure on them, but when you look at what they've done so far, to me, and I know you won't say this, but I'll say it. it to me, they're, they're probably the best one-two punch in the American East as far as pitching is concerned. You obviously thought highly of them, but did you think that they would be this good right away? Well, um, I, I know, know you're probably hoping for that. Yes, but. I, you know, I know that um, they have the potential to be that good. Um, just usually with young pitchers, it's the consistency. So we have some great pitching performances from both of them. And then we have some not so great pitching performances where we have to really, you know, score quite a few runs to, to win the game. So the consistency part of it is what we're looking for, and that's what we're working on with them. And obviously, you know, we've been talking about the pitching, uh, but your hitting's pretty good. You got six women in, in your lineup hitting 300 or better. Uh, you know, Mackenzie uh, Clary's hitting 377. Elizabeth Snow. Slowly getting back into yeah. things. You got her as your DH right now. She's hitting 390. Mackenzie Bump, 330, 380 from, you know, Donna Conrad. This lineup from top to bottom, have you had, and you've had a lot of great lineups over the years at UAlbany, but where, where does this rank? I mean, well, I think um, as far as depth, like all the way through the lineup, this is probably one of the best lineups that we've had in a long time. Um, we even have kids on the bench that really normally probably would be starting for us in the lineup because they're good hitters. So, and we haven't even really given them, gotten them a chance to hit as much as they can because the kids that are in the lineup are doing so well right now. It's probably something, you know, it's, it's tough, but at the same time, it's a, it's a luxury it most is. coaches would like to It have. is. It's a good luxury, <laughs> and I'm, taking, I'm enjoying every moment of having that right now. Again, joining us is the head coach of the UAlbany softball team, Chris Kanata. Six straight wins right now. As I said, you guys are 16-2 and two over your last 18 games. You know, this weekend, you take on UMBC. It's a doubleheader Friday, then you got one game on Saturday. Now, on paper, you look at this. With the way you guys have been playing, they're one in five in America East play. They're a few games under 500. But then you start looking at the individual pieces. Morgan Payu and Bridget O'Malley for them, they're the top two hitters in the America East. So as a coach, yeah. is that does that concern you sometimes when you go into a matchup where people say, well, listen, on paper, you guys should win. But then you look at it, and, you know, they're the two top hitters in the America East yeah. are in their lineup. Does that scare you a little yeah. bit? Well, we don't look at the games like on paper because it all depends on, you know, which teams you played and which teams, you know, like the conference schedule. And, um, you know, they started out with two of the tough, toughest teams in the conference, so that, that one of five is not really indicative of anything. So um, they can hit, yeah. and they have always been able to hit, and they play in a very small ball ballpark, and the wind is usually blowing out, so it's usually – a lot of runs put up on the board. So 
especially this weekend, our pitchers have got to be on their game, you know, limiting the walks. We got to make plays behind them. We got to make some extra plays behind them. And we can't give them any extra outs because, you know, you give a team like that an extra out and then the next thing it's out of the park of the park. So we, you know, that's going to be our focus, limiting, you know, the walks, pitching in front and and then defensively, we just got to step it up to a whole other level <laughs> of things, yes. And oh, by the way, and the, the team tied for first place in the America East. Talk about burying the lead. Uh, yeah. I know it's early Stop in the season. Stop with the jinx. We had the conversation <laughs> last week about the jinxing. Well, listen, it, you don't look too jinxed and, uh, at this yes. point. <laughs> Chris, thank you so much. Yes, again, Chris Canada, she's the head coach of the UAlbany softball team. And again, Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, tell a friend about uAlbanySports.com. That's another edition of Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Calderon. We'll see you next time.